Section 1. The Power of a Strong Start Why should we care about introductions? Have you ever started reading something and immediately felt hooked? That feeling of being drawn in right from the first sentence is no accident. That's the power of a great introduction. It's like a magnet that pulls you into the narrative, making you eager to know more. It's like a welcoming handshake, inviting the reader into your world. Just as a firm handshake can set the tone for a positive interaction, a well-crafted introduction sets the stage for a compelling read. A strong introduction can make or break a piece of writing. It's the gateway to your content, the first impression that can determine whether your reader stays or leaves. It sets the tone, sparks curiosity, and makes the reader want to keep going. Without a captivating start, even the most insightful content can go unnoticed. Think of it this way. You wouldn't wear your pajamas to a job interview, right? Just as you dress to impress, your introduction should be crafted to captivate. You want to make a good first impression. The introduction is your chance to showcase your best self, to present your ideas in the most engaging way possible. The same goes for your writing. A well-thought-out introduction can be the difference between a reader who is intrigued and one who is indifferent. Your introduction is your chance to grab the reader's attention and show them what you've got. It's your opportunity to make them care about what you have to say. So, why are introductions so important? They are the first impression your writing makes on the reader. They set the stage for everything that follows. Because they are the first impression your writing makes on the reader. A strong introduction can engage, inform, and persuade all within a few sentences. They determine whether someone will continue reading or move on to something else. A weak introduction can lose the reader's interest before they even get to the main content. A strong introduction is essential for capturing and holding your audience's attention. It's the hook that keeps them engaged and wanting more. What are your thoughts on the importance of introductions? Have you ever been captivated by an introduction that made you want to read more? Share your views in the comments below. Let's discuss how a powerful introduction has impacted your reading or writing experience. Section 2. Grabbing attention from the get-go. What makes an introduction impactful? An impactful introduction grabs the reader's attention and makes them want to learn more. It's the hook that draws them in, the spark that ignites their curiosity. But what exactly makes an introduction stand out? Is it the choice of words, the tone, or the way it connects with the audience? It's about creating a sense of intrigue and excitement right from the start. You want to make your audience feel something, whether it's curiosity, surprise, or even a bit of suspense. Think of it like a movie trailer. A good trailer gives you a glimpse of the story without revealing everything. It teases the plot, introduces the characters, and sets the tone. A well-crafted trailer leaves you on the edge of your seat, eager to see the full movie. It leaves you wanting more, and that's exactly what a great introduction should do. It leaves you wanting more. It should make the reader think, I need to know what happens next, or I can't wait to learn more about this topic. Similarly, an impactful introduction should pique the reader's curiosity and make them eager to delve deeper. It should set the stage for what's to come and give a hint of the value they'll gain. There are many ways to make your introductions more impactful. You can use vivid imagery, a compelling quote, or a powerful statement that resonates with your audience. You can start with a thought-provoking question, a surprising statistic, or a captivating anecdote. Each of these elements can serve as a powerful hook to draw your audience in. The key is to choose an opening that is relevant to your topic and will resonate with your audience. It should be something that speaks to their interests, concerns, or desires. How do you typically start your introductions? Do you have a go-to strategy or a favorite technique that never fails to engage your audience? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences on what makes an introduction truly impactful. Section 3. Finding your hook. Where do we find inspiration for great openings? Inspiration for great introductions can come from anywhere. The key is to keep your eyes and ears open and be on the lookout for anything interesting or thought-provoking. Think about your topic. What are some common questions people ask about it? Can you start with a surprising fact or a relevant quote? You can also draw inspiration from your own experiences or observations. Don't be afraid to experiment with different types of hooks until you find one that fits your writing style and the tone of your piece. 
What are some of the most memorable introductions you've come across? Share your favorites in the comments. Section four, speaking directly to your reader. How can we make our introductions more engaging? Writing is a conversation. Even when we write essays or stories, we are communicating with a reader. To make your introductions more engaging, speak directly to your reader. Use you and your to make them feel like they are part of the conversation. Ask questions that encourage them to think about their own experiences. For example, instead of writing, time management is important, you could say. Do you ever feel like there's not enough time in the day? By addressing the reader directly, you create a connection with them and make your writing more relatable. How do you make your writing more engaging? Share your tips in the comments. Section five, setting the stage. What key elements should every introduction include? Think of your introduction as a roadmap for your reader. Just like a roadmap guides you to your destination, your introduction should guide your reader through the journey of your writing. It should give them a clear idea of what your writing is about and what they can expect to learn. This sets the tone and context for the entire piece. A good introduction should include a brief overview of your topic providing enough background to understand the context. Your main argument or thesis statement, which is the central point you will be making, and a hint of the evidence or arguments you will present in the body of your writing. This gives the reader a preview of what's to come. Remember to keep your introduction concise and to the point. A lengthy introduction can lose the reader's interest before they even get to the main content. Avoid overwhelming the reader with too much information up front. Instead, focus on the essentials that will draw them in. Your goal is to pique their interest and make them want to keep reading. An engaging introduction can make all the difference. What are some key elements you always include in your introductions? Do you have a specific strategy or formula that works for you? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your tips and tricks for crafting the perfect introduction. Section six, show, don't tell. How do we craft introductions that captivate and intrigue? Instead of simply stating facts, try to paint a picture with your words. Use descriptive language to create vivid imagery and evoke emotions in your reader. For example, instead of writing, the concert was crowded and noisy. You could say the air crackled with anticipation as thousands of voices merged into a deafening roar. By showing instead of telling, you create a more immersive and engaging experience for your reader. What are some of your favorite descriptive words to use in your writing? Share them in the comments. Section seven, avoiding introduction. Pitfalls, what mistakes should we steer clear of? Just as there are good ways to start an introduction, there are also common pitfalls to avoid. One common mistake is starting with a cliché or a generalization that is too broad or obvious. Another pitfall is burying the lead, which means starting with less important information and saving the most interesting or important point for later. Avoid apologizing or being overly self-deprecating in your introduction. Remember, you want to project confidence and authority. What are some introduction mistakes you've made in the past? Share your experiences in the comments. Section eight, polishing your opening act. How can we refine and improve our introductions? Once you've written your introduction, take some time to refine and polish it. Read it aloud to yourself or to a friend to get a sense of its flow and clarity. Make sure your introduction is concise, engaging and relevant to your topic. Check for any grammatical errors or awkward phrasing. Don't be afraid to experiment with different openings until you find one that you're happy with. Remember, your introduction is your first impression, so make it count. What are your go-to strategies for revising and improving your writing? Share your tips in the comments. Section nine, conclusion. Ready to write introductions that shine? Writing impactful introductions is a skill that takes practice, but with the right techniques, you can captivate your readers from the very first sentence. Remember to keep your introductions concise, engaging, and relevant to your topic. 
Use vivid language, thought-provoking questions, and relatable anecdotes to draw your reader in. Avoid cliches, generalizations, and burying the lead. Now that you have a better understanding of how to write impactful introductions, it's time to put these tips into practice. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being very confident, how confident are you in your ability to write impactful introductions? Share your rating.